everyone, Deborah here. Tonight's uh, live stream should be fairly short because it's short and sweet information. And that is the two reasons why you should never inject dewormers into goats. And um, first of all, I'll give you a little bit of a background on this. And if you've been around for a while and you've had goats for a while, you're like, yeah, but I remember them saying like 10 years ago, my vet told me that it's better to inject. Yeah. I'm sure they did. That was 10 years ago. Stuff in the goat world changes really fast. I started raising goats in 2002 and it seems like almost nothing we did back then um, was a good idea. So there is a lot of stuff that has changed and I, I don't think anything has changed more um, than dewormers, unless maybe nutrition. Um, deworming and nutrition are two things that have changed dramatically in the 21 years that I have been raising goats. So yes, if you had goats 10 years ago, I have no doubt that you had a vet tell you that you should inject dewormers or 20 years ago, they, they would have told you that too. That was what they thought was good back then. And the reason why is because the injectable dewormers are what they call long tail dewormers, meaning that they stay in the system for a very long time. They thought that was a really good thing back then because people thought eggs hatched inside the goat and they're like, oh, well, this is going to kill those eggs that hatch after, you know, later. So you don't have to give them a second dose in a week or so. Well, we now know that eggs do not hatch inside the goat. They hatch on the pasture. So you don't need, this is why you don't need to do a second dose of dewormer in seven days or a week or what, or 10 days or whatever magical number somebody told you. Um, if goats are getting reinfected, it's because you gave them a dewormer, you put them on the pasture, they went back and started eating more larvae. And that's why their worm load has built up again, not because there are eggs hatching inside of them. So that whole idea of the long tail dewormer, not really as useful as they thought it was going to be originally, because if a goat is really, really in bad shape, and has a heavy load of parasites and you give them a dewormer, you should not put them back on pasture at all. You should put them in the barn until their FAMACHA score is once again, at least to at level three so that they're no longer anemic because it makes no sense to treat them to kill the worms inside of them and then to stick them out on a wormy pasture. You also don't want to stick them on a clean pasture because then they're going to be dropping eggs from all of the worms that survive that deworming, which means that that offspring, those eggs are hatching into dewormer resistant worms. So you want them dropping all of those worm eggs in the barn where it's going to go into your compost pile and decompose. And there's just not going to be a problem for you anymore. So, um, so first of all, injecting dewormers just does not do you any good. Um, and there's two reasons why you don't want to do it. Number one is that when it stays in the system for a really long time, it's staying at a very low level. And we're talking like a month or two. So there is a very low level of that dewormer in the goat's system for like a month or two. Um, Cydectin stays in their system longer than ivermectin does. So that's why I'm saying a month or two because it's closer to like uh, closer to a month for the ivermectin, closer to two months for the cytectin. Um, and when it stays in the system longer at a low level, it means that all of the worms that are exposed to it are now immune to it because it's not strong enough to kill them. So it's basically like vaccinating them. You're inoculating them to be able to survive that. So that's, so you really, <laughs> um, don't want them on your pasture because they're going to be dumping um, eggs for um, dewormer resistant worms for like a month or two. So that is going to cause dewormer resistance much faster. And that is why um, the, the recommendation to use injectable dewormers was ended was because it just does not help the goats. In fact, it makes your dewormer resistance problem happen faster because it's like you're giving them the, you know, a very low dose of dewormer constantly for a month or two. The number two reason that you use that you never ever want to de inject a dewormer into a milker 
because if it stays in their system for a long time, guess what? It's in their milk. So this is why ivermectin and cydectin injectables say they are not for use in dairy animals. And I can't believe how many people have no idea that that's on the label and, and use it. There's, there's a dairy. Somebody sent me a website from a dairy that talked about using injectable ivermectin, um, which is really horrifying to me. Injectable ivermectin stays like it is the milk withdrawal is 40 days. Who wants to milk a goat for 40 days and dump their milk? Not me. So, and you give them the oral ivermectin and the uh, milk withdrawal is much shorter. I should have looked that up before I started, but I forgot, but it's only like a week or two. So, um, it is much shorter than the injectable um, withdrawal. So same thing with Cydectin. And, and actually, um, Cydectin milk withdrawal on that was something crazy like 60 days. Um, this information comes from farad.org, F-A-R-A-D.org. That is a website that is paid for with your tax dollars and kept up to date by five universities. So it is very credible information. The Cydectin withdrawal is not on there anymore. I don't know why they removed it, but it used to be. And it was like somewhere around 60 days, like 58 or something like that. So that's why I'm always saying like it stays in their system for a month or two because injectable ivermectin has a 40 day milk withdrawal and the milk withdrawal on the injectable Cydectin was close to two months because it stays in the system for so long. So anyway, there are a lot of people out there that have been consuming dewormer in their milk and not knowing it because they didn't realize that when you inject those dewormers, the injectable dewormers are made to last much longer than the oral ones. Um, so they stay in the system a lot longer. Um, and that's bad news for creating dewormer resistance and also for having to dump your milk after you have used these dewormers and you don't need to do that. You can use the oral forms. In fact, um, the current recommendation of the American Consortium of Small Ruminant Parasite Control is that all dewormers should be given to goats orally. Porons do not work to kill internal parasites in goats, so don't use them for paras for worms in the goat. Um, they work for external parasites like lice and mites, but not for, for worms because they just don't goat skin is very different than cow skin and it just doesn't work to kill worms in goats. So um, I hope you have found this helpful and now understand why it is important that you never inject dewormers into goats. If you're watching this later and you've got questions, feel free to post in the comment section below and I'll get back to you.